Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today episode 95, it's Wednesday, the middle of the week and Bitcoin continues to go up. Uh, so that's a very good day to have another video. I finally got my last package from Amazon today. So I guess all the gear that I was uh, trying to gather for the new studio is already here. So I will of course continue to fine tune everything and configure all the gear that just arrived but I guess that will not impact on the videos that I will continue to record and stream live stream for you guys. So I'm not saying that we are going to have a daily video uh, like from Monday to Friday as before, because sometimes it's not justifiable to have another video when the previous day and the current day don't present so many differences in price action, but I will try to continue to do as many videos as possible and of course also having the live stream on Saturdays as before. So I will, I hope I will not make any mistakes with the new gear because you guys know that I'm still getting used to it. Uh, the example is that uh, the previous video you have, the episode 94, I started to record on screen share already because I forgot to change the buttons on the video mixers. But anyway, I think it was funny that I just posted the phrase there and I did not have to record everything again. So let's hope from now on all those mistakes will not happen uh, so frequently. But <laughs> every time they happen, I will, of course, have a blooper for you guys sometime soon. So don't worry about that. Uh, so regarding the price action, but just before we go to screen share, let me just remind you guys that uh, the Telegram group is still up and running and every ev everyone is there. So just open a browser, uh, go to t.me forward slash fu money and you will be able to join automatically from that page on the Telegram group. So you will be part of a 300 and many or almost 400 people already in that group and you can discuss Bitcoin 24 hours a day or even some shit coins if you like to, but I would not recommend it too much. Anyway, if you like the content of this channel, gently touch the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new and even if you are not new, but you haven't subscribed it yet. So uh, just do it today because we need the followers and we need the support for the channel. Okay, guys, so let me go to screen share now. And this is the daily chart. But before I show you guys the daily chart, let me just go to the weekly because there is something really important that I should show you guys here. So this is the weekly chart. And of course, you guys know this already. I've been showing this chart for a long time already. We have been supported by the 50 period SMA here. And for the last two weeks, we have been going up. And this week has not been easy. We went down already in a correction of four days in a row. But now we are leaving a big week behind and it's now going up again. So, but there is one thing, there is one thing which I consider really important that I would like to tell you guys. So the green line you guys see here, this is the 20 period SMA, the simple moving average. And for me to be completely confident that before that, let me just turn off this, the plottings here because I don't need them. So let's go back to the chart. So the one thing I consider really, really important, and you guys should keep in mind also, is for me to be 100% confident that this move up is actually the reversal that everyone was waiting for since the $28.8 thousand uh, dollars. I need the price action to cross the 20 period SMA to the upside and make it support. So this is the important thing you guys have to remember when looking at the weekly chart. I will only be 100% confident and you guys should also be only 100% confident when the price action crosses above the 20 week SMA and makes it support, meaning that we cross it and then we can come back down for a small retracement, find support already on the 20 period SMA and continue up from there to new all time highs. That way, for me, this will be the final signal or the final sign that you, uh, that, the, that Bitcoin found support on the 20 uh, and is due for new all-time highs. So this is really important to keep in mind. Don't forget um, to, to continue to look at the weekly chart and the 20 period SMA on the weekly chart. 
So let's go down here to the RSI. The RSI is going sideways because of the last four days, of course, of this week. We have been going down after that 10-day period going up. So that was very good, but now the RSI is completely neutral in the middle of the territory and, of course, just going sideways. So it doesn't give us any good signs. However, the MACD down here is showing signs that is going on the path to become bullish. So the line, the blue line is already um, diminishing the gap between the orange and the blue here. So the blue line is in order to, in one or two weeks, maybe cross the orange line to the upper side. And the bars are also light red in their way to become green. Okay, guys, but that's enough from the weekly chart. And let's go to the daily chart and see what's happening there. So here we are, we have already loaded the MRI. And as you guys know, when we were around the 29K down here at these levels, we had something never seen before in Bitcoin except in 2016. So there's been five years already since we had 10 green daily candles in a row. This is very important. It shows a really, really strong uh, momentum for the bulls. And of course, getting to an MRI top, which was a bit strange because the MRI top was supposed to reverse the price action right here. But we still had another daily candle going extremely up compared to the other ones. But anyway, this is textbook here, MRI top manual, one to four candle correction after the MRI top. And now the price reversal again going to the upside and retesting the 100 period SMA, the red line you guys see here on the chart. So that's it for the daily chart. There is nothing really important right now except for those one to four candle correction and now the retest. So let's see the RSI pointing up. Of course, we have re reversed the price action today. Since this morning around 10 p.m. Portuguese time, we have been going up. The MACD was also here on the daily, was about to turn bearish, but with this reversal of the price action, the blue line is now going sideways and the orange line is catching up, but there's still more time here before they cross. So I guess this leg up will take some more time because of the one to four candle correction, which is very healthy and sustainable after 10 days in a row going up. So also the BitMEX funding rate, but I will not look at it here on the daily chart. I will go to the four hour chart so we can have a more in real time look at the BitMEX funding rate. The BitMEX funding rate has been completely neutral, not even 0.1, it's 0.008 here today at the time we speak for this candle, which has been uh, going on for two hours and a few minutes already. So this is completely neutral. The last time we saw BitMEX funding rate going up like crazy, this was on the 30th of July, when we had this big leg up here, this big green candle that you guys see on the screen. So taking that into consideration, let's now take a look at the dollar. So the dollar finally showed some teeth and is now trying to get above the trend line again. Let me just go a bit to the side here and show you guys this in zoom. So we have been below the trend line. Now we opened the candle again. We went below the trend line again, and now we are on the green above the trend line. So the dollar is fighting for this position, but I don't believe this will be uh, very, very profitable for the dollar because I don't believe we are going to pass this big resistance uh, level here, which corresponds to the last swing high. So you guys know that I've been waiting for the dollar to finally crash and break the 89 support on the Dixie, but this is still not possible. We still see the dollar fighting to go above this trend line for the last breath that it will take. So let's see how the dollar evolves, but I don't, uh, I don't expect the dollar to continue to go up here, uh, especially because of the hyperinflation coming there after all the trillions that uh, the Fed has been printing. So anyway, I don't believe this is going up. So now we have gold and gold. I continue to be bullish gold. As I said before, you guys know this. I believe this was the low of the year and the trend line continues to support gold. But there is nothing really important to see here right now. It has been just the same for the last few days. So we will see the SMP and the SMP is on an MRI top. So guys, be really careful here. We are on a weekly MRI top on the SMP 500. So 
for you guys that have positions in the S&P 500, I would take uh, um, I would take a look and focus on those positions and see what is actually going on in the markets in real time because uh, this MRI top could mean that we can have another reversal to find support in lower levels. So let's see how that goes. Um, but I bet that this is already the third MRI top. Fourth, sorry, fourth. So we have one here, one here, one here, and one here. So there is the fourth MRI top since the 31st of August 2020 that we have on the SMP, and this week could be the one. So just uh, keep focused and don't take the, your eyes off the markets because this could be important here for you if you, of course, um, invest in the S&P 500. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Uh, I, I promised this would not be a very, very long video, but the really important message to retain here is, of course, that we, for Bitcoin, we need Bitcoin to show us some strength. And for that, we need Bitcoin to go above the 20 period SMA, the green line on the weekly chart, on my weekly chart, of course, <laughs> you may have different colors, but on my chart, it's green. So the 20 period SMA, we need to go above it and make it support and continue the leg up. And if that happens, of course, this is the very, very important message of the video today, is that I will be 100% convinced that, in fact, we reverse the price action around 28.8K, and then we are now going for new all-time highs, which probably could come by the end of the year. So let's see how that evolves. I will also keep an eye on my price-to-time model, and I will inform you guys uh, about the delays or no delays that this might present on the price-to-time model. And of course, the next video, we will discuss it further. So, guys, if you enjoyed the content for today, just gently touch the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and of course, don't forget the Telegram group. Just go to a browser and open a page on t.me forward slash fumoney and you will be able to automatically join the, our Telegram group where you can discuss Bitcoin and other shitcoins if you like them uh, on that group 24 hours a day. The community is growing, so join us and uh, enjoy the, the um, information that you will get from that group. Okay, guys, I will see you on the next one. And for now, bye-bye.